Following a successful rescue mission of NASA astronauts at the International Space Station, Elon Musk, SpaceX CEO, has set ambitious goals for humanity's future on Mars. In a podcast interview with Senator Ted Cruz, Musk predicted humans could live on the red planet within 20 years. He stressed the necessity for Mars to become self-sufficient before Earth-based resupply ceases, significantly boosting humanity's long-term survival prospects. However, he also cautioned that establishing a colony would require immense resources, including a substantial population and infrastructure to support life in the harsh Martian environment. A small number of settlers would be insufficient for sustainability. Millions of people and millions of tons of supplies would be essential. SpaceX's ambitions extend beyond simply establishing a human presence on Mars, aiming to create the systems needed for a thriving civilization. SpaceX plans a 2026 Starship launch to Mars, followed by human missions in 2029, carrying Tesla's Optimus humanoid robots. Musk's commitment to Martian colonization remains unwavering since founding SpaceX in 2002. Beyond simple exploration, SpaceX aims to understand the universe by venturing to other planets, star systems, and galaxies. Musk envisions potential discoveries of alien civilizations or remnants of past ones, illuminating profound questions about the universe's origins and potential for life beyond Earth. This exploration goes beyond mere scientific curiosity. The goal is to achieve a deeper cosmic understanding, driven by an intrinsic desire to learn about the cosmos and its mysteries. The ambitious project underscores SpaceX's long-term commitment to pushing the boundaries of human exploration and knowledge. Success in this endeavor hinges on a robust and well-executed strategy. However, Musk's ambitious Martian goals face significant challenges. A recent setback involved a failed Starship prototype launch over the Turks and Caicos Islands, highlighting the inherent complexities and risks in such ambitious ventures. The success of future Martian missions hinges critically on continued support from the U.S. government, ensuring the necessary resources and policy frameworks are in place. Beyond the technical hurdles, securing the required international collaboration and coordination among various space agencies will be essential for success. These challenges encompass the practical aspects of logistics, resource management, and the development of advanced technologies necessary for sustained human presence on another planet. The intricate interplay of international relations, political will, and technological innovation will all play critical roles in the outcome of these projects. While the technical setbacks underscore the inherent difficulties of interplanetary exploration, Musk's plans for expanding global operations further complicate the situation. These multifaceted challenges underscore the significant hurdles ahead in realizing this ambitious vision. SpaceX's significant investment in Vietnam committing $1.5 billion to expand Starlink satellite services underscores a strategic global focus. This investment aligns with SpaceX's broader goal of improving global internet access. The substantial funding aims to support Vietnam's digital transformation and bridge the digital divide affecting numerous villages lacking reliable internet. With over 1,500 villages currently underserved, Starlink's potential to provide crucial connectivity is significant. This initiative showcases SpaceX's commitment to addressing global connectivity issues beyond its ambitions for Mars. The rapid regulatory approvals granted to Starlink in Vietnam highlight the government's support for technological advancement and improving infrastructure. This collaboration emphasizes a strategic approach, going beyond solely focusing on space exploration and recognizing the importance of global connectivity and economic development. The partnership showcases a blend of technological advancement and addressing crucial societal needs. Vietnam's potential as a technological hub and its growing market are also apparent in this initiative. While some remain skeptical of Musk's vision for a self-sustaining Martian colony, he views the journey to Mars as a crucial step toward expanding human understanding of the universe. SpaceX's global ambitions, including its significant investment in Vietnam, demonstrate a broader strategic approach that encompasses both space exploration and addressing global connectivity issues. This multifaceted strategy highlights a recognition that technological advancement and societal needs are intertwined. However, skepticism remains about the feasibility of a self-sustaining Martian colony, and the sheer scale and complexity of the project raise questions about its ultimate success. SpaceX faces challenges in navigating international regulations and balancing competing priorities in different sectors. 
The project's inherent risks, coupled with the potential for setbacks and controversies, further underscore the immense complexities involved in such endeavors. The ultimate success of these ambitious ventures will depend on overcoming both technological and logistical obstacles. The path toward realizing these visions is long and fraught with potential challenges, requiring sustained effort and adaptability. The future success of this undertaking remains to be seen, but the journey undertaken demonstrates an immense dedication. Elon Musk confirms, here's what it will take to build a thriving Mars city. Elon Musk, in a recent interview on the Verdict podcast, unveiled his vision for a thriving and self-sufficient Martian city, a cornerstone of SpaceX's ambitious plan for establishing human civilization on Mars. Musk's detailed explanation underscores the critical need for Mars to achieve complete independence from Earth-based resupply missions for long-term viability. He argued that a true Martian city wouldn't just exist. It would need to be capable of growth and self-sufficiency, independent of continued support from Earth. This concept hinges on the ability of the Martian colony to sustain itself through resource production and expansion, rather than continuous reliance on shipments from Earth. The need for a fully self-sustaining Martian city becomes paramount in a scenario where Earth's civilization might cease to exist, permanently interrupting the supply chain. This scenario emphasizes the imperative for Mars to become fully self-reliant, crucial for securing the long-term survival and prosperity of any potential human presence on the Red Planet. Musk's vision for a Martian city extends beyond mere establishment. It seeks a sustainable and enduring presence, emphasizing the importance of internal growth and resource management. He emphasizes the significant role of self-sufficiency in the project's long-term success. Musk's analysis in the podcast emphasizes the critical threshold for a successful Martian settlement, its ability to thrive and expand independently of Earth-based resupply missions. He underscores the need for Mars to become entirely self-sufficient before Earth's ability to support it potentially ceases. This crucial point highlights the long-term sustainability of a Martian colony, emphasizing the need for self-reliance in the face of unforeseen circumstances. Musk paints a picture of a scenario where Earth-based supply chains could be disrupted or even cease completely, necessitating a fully self-sufficient Martian civilization. This pivotal point underscores the fundamental requirement for Mars to develop the capacity to produce its own resources and sustain its own population. The focus is not just on establishing a colony, but creating a system capable of enduring without continuous outside support, ensuring its longevity and resilience in the face of any potential disruption. This self-sufficiency isn't just desirable, it's crucial to the very survival of a Martian civilization. Emphasizing the necessity of a robust and independent resource base, this underscores the profound significance of creating a complete, self-contained ecosystem on Mars. To achieve this crucial self-sufficiency, Musk projects a 20-year time frame for a sustainable Martian settlement. He argues that a small number of colonists scattered across the inhospitable Martian surface wouldn't create a self-sustaining colony. Instead, a substantial population, around 1 million people, and the transportation of a massive amount of cargo, up to a million tons, are necessary to build the infrastructure required to sustain life on Mars. This large-scale approach emphasizes the complex logistical challenges and the need for significant investment in resource extraction, processing, and infrastructure development. Musk acknowledges that while a 2029 launch date for crewed missions was previously suggested, he now considers 2031 a more realistic timeline for the first human landing on Mars, reflecting the intricate challenges inherent in such a complex undertaking. This revised timeline highlights the considerable hurdles and the necessity of meticulous planning and execution to achieve the goals. This period of development underscores the need for substantial technological advancement, resource management, and infrastructure deployment to support a sizable population. It emphasizes the critical role of long-term planning and significant investment in laying the foundations for a self-sufficient Martian colony. Musk emphasizes SpaceX's central role in realizing this ambitious Martian city. A key milestone is an unmanned Starship mission to Mars by late 2026, paving the way for human exploration. He expresses confidence in SpaceX's ability to achieve this goal, noting a lack of major obstacles in earlier test flights. This unmanned mission serves as a crucial stepping stone validating the technology and preparing the necessary infrastructure 
for eventual human habitation. Musk acknowledges that while a 2029 human landing was previously proposed, he now considers 2031 a more realistic timeline for the first human presence on Mars, reflecting the complexities of interplanetary travel and the intricate development needed. This adjusted timeline highlights the importance of these initial unmanned missions in confirming the feasibility and viability of future human missions. The planned unmanned mission will be pivotal in validating the technology, preparing the path for a self-sustaining colony, and demonstrating the logistical capabilities required for interplanetary travel. This initial foray marks an essential step in the long process of establishing a permanent human presence on Mars. Elon Musk's plan for Mars colonization what weather challenges lie ahead. Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX, has a dream that many thought was impossible to colonize Mars. While the idea sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, Musk is determined to make it a reality. However, the red planet presents a host of challenges, particularly when it comes to its weather. The atmospheric conditions on Mars are vastly different from those on Earth, and they pose significant obstacles to human settlement. This article delves into the specific weather challenges that Musk's ambitious plan might face and how they could affect the colonization efforts. The Thin Martian Atmosphere Mars has an atmosphere that is about 100 times thinner than Earth's. This means that the air is not only less dense, but also less capable of supporting life as we know it. The thin atmosphere provides little protection from cosmic and solar radiation, which could be harmful to humans. Additionally, the lack of atmospheric pressure would make it difficult to maintain a stable living environment. Imagine trying to breathe on top of Mount Everest without oxygen tanks. It's a similar challenge, but on a much larger scale. Extreme temperature fluctuations. Mars is notorious for its extreme temperature fluctuations. During the day, temperatures can rise to a bearable 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night they can plummet to minus 100 degrees. These drastic changes can wreak havoc on any human settlement affecting everything from the structural integrity of habitats to the health and well-being of the colonists. It's like living in a desert that turns into an Arctic tundra overnight, requiring advanced technology to adapt and survive. Frequent dust storms. One of the most dramatic weather phenomena on Mars is its dust storms. These storms can cover the entire planet and last for weeks at a time. They pose a significant risk to human colonies by reducing visibility, damaging equipment, and potentially cutting off solar power which is crucial for energy. Think of it as a sandstorm on Earth, but with the intensity turned up several notches, making it a formidable challenge for any Martian settlement. The absence of liquid water. Water is essential for life, and its scarcity on Mars presents a major hurdle. While there is ice at the poles and evidence of water in the past, liquid water is virtually non-existent on the surface today. This means that any colony would need to rely on advanced technology to extract or create water, a task that is both resource intensive and technically challenging. It's akin to trying to survive in a desert with only a few ice cubes to quench your thirst. Increased radiation levels. The thin atmosphere and lack of a magnetic field mean that Mars is bombarded by higher levels of cosmic and solar radiation than Earth. This radiation can be harmful to humans, increasing the risk of cancer and other health issues colonists would need to live in heavily shielded habitats or underground to mitigate these risks. It's like living in a world where stepping outside without protection is akin to standing in front of an x-ray machine.